everyone, welcome to Groovy Sauce, and today I'm doing an unboxing of the horror-themed mystery box, Loot Fright. Now this particular box has a theme, and that theme is There Goes the Neighborhood, featuring items from Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween 2, as well as a figure featuring the Mothman. Now I'm very much on brand here with the horror themes, wearing my last podcast on the left merch for all of you horror podcast fans out there, but that's besides the point. Let's go ahead and crack open this box and see what's inside. Okay, everybody, here we go. I got my knife here. Let's go ahead and cut open the seal. There it is. And now we can actually peek at what's inside. Here we go. So here we do it. We're gonna do the unveiling live. There it is. So I don't even, can't even see what's here so far, but first thing that's looking at me is this pin here featuring the pumpkin from Halloween. That looks awesome. It's actually pretty big too, about the size of like a half dollar. Uh, so yeah, that's awesome. Very, very heavy. Very, very much feels like it's a, a, a well-crafted item, but let's go ahead and get it out of the plastic and actually see how it is here. So there it is. It's actually got three things in the back there. Oh, there's actually a knife there too. I didn't see that. So there's two little pins here, a knife and a pumpkin. Very, very cool that they would include two items here. Let's go ahead and set this to the side and see what else is in the box. So here we go. We got a t-shirt. Now this is a nightmare t-shirt. I can tell that even before unfolding it because of the branding there. All right, so here we go with the unveiling of the shirts and Oh, that's so cool. It's the glove. It's the Nightmare on Elm Street glove. Very much a gritty, gritty, nice, cool, creepy looking shirt. This is very much going to be in rotation for me, uh, seeing that I absolutely love horror themed t-shirts. All right, so setting this one to the side. And here we go. We got the Apothecary Mothman figure. So there it is. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy out of the box. Here, I'm gonna need my knife because there's a plastic seal on there. So let's go ahead and try to get this open. Okay, all right. So there we go. The, you can see the little Mothman guy right there. Let's get him out of this protective plastic though. Oh, and there he is. There he is, he's all wrapped up like a little, he's all, he's got his arms folded like a vampire too, which is kind of funny. But he also gets this base. He's got this base and this little enclosure thing. So it's kind of like a scientific specimen. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get it in there in order to uh, uh, make it look like it's an actual specimen. So hold on a second with me, please hang tight while I set this bad boy up. I might fast forward through this entire thing until I get to the end. Okay, here we go. Okay, so there it is all set up, looking like a nice specimen. This is definitely going on my shelf. It's gonna keep all my other stuff company, my Jaws uh, cup and whatnot, my uh, evil clowns from the Nightmare Before Christmas and uh, killer clowns from outer space. So this is definitely gonna be a nice addition to the shelf. And that pretty much sums it up for everything inside of the box. My favorite item here, most definitely, is this shirt. Uh, I'm an absolute dedicated fan of um, Nightmare on Elm Street. So this is definitely going to be a very coveted shirt for me that I'm definitely going to parade around my local markets, uh, uh, you know, just being super duper giddy, probably not uh, thematically uh, appropriate for, for wearing this around the, the neighborhood markets. But you know what? That's just my personality. I'm a giddy guy. I love horror movies. So yeah, that pretty much does it for everything inside of this particular loot crate. I hope I gave you a good idea of everything that was in here. If you have any questions about what was in here, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I would love to answer every single one of your questions. Also, before you go, make sure that you give me a like as well as subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content from me. I don't always do these types of videos. Sometimes I'm doing video game gameplay. I do fast food reviews here on this channel. So if you'd like to see more stuff like that, a mixed bag of content here. Make sure that you're subscribed. And with that being said, thank you all very much for watching and hopefully I will see you next time.